After the Vietnam War, the US found out that the big chunky F-4s were no good in a dogfight, so in 1960, the lightweight fighter program was introduced, giving birth to two jets, the YF-16 and the YF-17. In the end, General Dynamics won the contract with the F-16, but the Northrop YF-17 was not lost and became the F-18 for the Navy. But now let's get back to the F-16. Its first test flight was an accident, where, where they were testing the taxi speed when the plane started to veer off the runway. So in order to avoid a crash, the test pilot pulled back on the stick to take off, and then landed six minutes later. The plane was also built unstable so it could turn faster, but as a built-in computer in order to keep it straight. Let's go back to December 27th, 1992 in Iraq, where there was a group of F-16s and F-15s securing a no-fly zone, when a lone MiG-25 came in going for some F-15s, but the F-15s could not shoot it down because the MiG-25 outran it, because it's of superior airspeed. However, later that day, it came back, and this time it got cornered by some F-16s, confirming that the MiG-25 was a hostile, they were cleared hot. An F-16 piloted by then-Lieutenant Colonel Olgari E. North shot down the MiG-25 with an AM-120 AMRAM, destroying the Iraqi fighter. This was the first combat kill that F-16 or AM-120 have ever gotten. Today, the F-16 is still in service with 28 different countries and has a speculated kill ratio of 72 to 1, meaning that it has 154 kills and 2 deaths, but that's just what Western powers. It is still unknown on how many kills it has. All we know is it's a great fighter jet. If you liked learning about this jet, please look stuff up. History is cool, and don't forget to subscribe.